Right, we're just going to recap what pieces that you need to make up this bow tie. Now, first of all, I've cut out the two pieces here, which are the bow parts. Okay, cut out two pieces of interfacing, which will be the same size as the bow part, and we're going to be covering that in a sec. We have here the bow tie strap, okay, and we have here the small bow strap, which, which basically covers over the top of the bow part. Um, and I have here a three part um, adjuster system which will go onto the bow tie strap. Now I'm just using a, just a satin fabric, okay, it's got a shiny side and dull side, and I'm going to be using the dull, the dull side, that's the side that I want to be showing, okay. So the shiny side has to be inside. Uh, any of the parts that you sew. So, start off by interfacing the actual bow part. So just press this down neatly. Now I'm just going to turn that over to the shiny side because I'm working on the dull side. So we just turn that over and we're going to be fusing this bow part. So just put your fusing onto there. Now again, make sure that your iron is not too hot because you can curl the interfacing. So we'll just carefully just fuse this to start with, like so, and then and then you can steam it to just bring out that a lot more heat. Because once once it's on, you will not curl this fusing anymore. Okay, so we're okay now. So just keep fusing this. Like so. When you've done that, turn it over, and if there is any excess fusing that you can see on the edges, just cut those off. Just trim, trim the loose threads off. Um, any any loose bits, uh, any fit interfacing protruding over, just snip them off. Make it just that little bit neater. Like so. When you've done that. What we need to do is exactly the same with the other one. So again, for me, I'm going to be interfacing on the shiny side. Just press that up and just fuse this part. Now these pieces are exactly the same as the pattern that is on the website. So these are identical to that. Just steam that. There we go. And again, just gonna cut the excess fusing off. All the way around. Okay, right, so we've done that, actually that's not caught, so I'll just press that just a little bit better. Yeah, right. Okay, so when you've done that, these are the only pieces that you interface. Now the next part is we're going to be making up the bow part. So you need your bow parts pieces. And the first thing what you need to do is just turn this over. Now what we need to do is make this, this here, a width of about six centimeters. Okay, so we're, we're turning this in about two and a half right along. And just press that down. Like so, just really, really neatly press that down. Do the other side. 
just measure to make that about six centimeters yeah there we go now it doesn't matter that one is bigger than the other it doesn't really matter because these are going to be folded inside and you won't see them okay but you must make sure that both of these bow parts like this this one as well and this is going to be exactly the same width okay so do that now do the other one so again just fold that over and as you can see I'm not even measuring this first one just not even measuring it because it doesn't really matter um, now what we need to do is just get this to be the same width like so there we go just press this down it needs to be the same width and again turn this around so we can get it so that it's going to be the same width as the other strip that's the most important part really just making them exactly the same in width there we go just have a look to see if they're the same yep they are okay now any sort of bits that are sticking out I like to just cut those off just neaten it up a bit yep that's fine and the next part what we're doing is we're folding the two parts in together like so making sure that this here is in the middle so the way to do it is just measure that so it's well I've got it at 11 and a half so we're going to be looking at just over five per part just over five and a half there and that's just over five and a half yet so make sure that the this part here is in exactly this in exactly the part of the middle making sure it's in the middle just turn that there we go now that's that is in the middle yeah and again we can use this as a gauge and we're just making this exactly the same it has to be identical because of course these are going to be attached together for like the double bow part just press that there we go just keep pressing this so making it exactly the same there we go okay there we go so they're exactly the same in length and in width now the next part what you need to do is just stitch these two bits down okay so we just need to secure these down so stitch right near the edge up there and then down the other side to secure them both and do that on both pieces okay so I've stitched down here securing these together okay as you can see so just give these a bit of a press there we go okay right so the next part what we need to do is we need to just simply place these two parts together with the raw edges facing inwards toward each other so just attach those exactly the same on top of each other so I'll just put a pin in there just to secure them like so and you simply what you're doing is stitching right in the middle from here to here now also while you're doing that what you can do because you'll be on the sewing machine is you can do the next parts as well now this here is the bow strap okay which runs along the middle of the, t the bow tie itself so this bow part has to be wider than the stitching here otherwise you're gonna see it okay so now I'm going to be using the dull side so that has to be inside 
So we're just going to put a pin on there to secure that. Like so. And what we're doing is running, because this, this has to be bagged out, we're running a stitch right on the edge from here, along to here, and then down to there. But making sure, of course, that when it's bagged out, it's going to be wider this than this stitching here. Okay, so if I was to stitch it this sort of width, you can clearly see it's going to be fine and it's wide enough. Okay, so do that. And then also what you can do is you can also make up the bow tie strap as well. So again, what you're simply doing is we're running um, a stitch along here, ready to bag this out. Now with the bow tie strap, what you have to remember with the adjusters and everything that it has to fit through this gap so ideally what I should be doing is should be stitching to a width of two centimeters okay so this this here measures three centimeters so we're stitching a one centimeter seam allowance in here to make it wide enough to fit through this this adjuster part, okay, and the hook and bar of the adjusters. Okay, so running a stitch from here, right along, right along, right along until you get to the end. And then we're running off here, and then it gives us a chance to bag that out. Okay, so what I've done is I've attached these. You can see it's now attached, and they're attached in the middle, which is what you want. Um, and I've also stitched around here on the bow part, the small bow strap part, and the actual bow tie strap as well. So the next part, what we need to do is just trim this down so that it's thin enough to bag out. So just trim this excess off here. Just keep trimming that right along. right along until we get to the corners just trim the corners as well like so and when you've done that we just need to just turn this through Turn this round. Like so. And the next part we just need to just, oh yes, I'll just do the uh, corners as well. Just get into the uh, the corners of the um, the end of this where we just bagged it out just to make it just that little bit neater. There we go, just into the corners like so. Perfect. Right. Now the next part we need to is just press this flat because this is the strap part now as you can see as well this here now is wide enough exactly for the slider uh, to fit in so that's perfect is that superb and just press this down just needs a, a little bit of sort of manipulation does this so just go along and manipulate this to flatten the whole strap part. Just keep pressing this down. Right along. Right along. Right along. 
so we get to the end. Perfect. That's quite a nice neat strap. Okay. Then any excess threads on the end, just cut those off. And we've got to just do the same with the little bow strap as well. Just bag this out. That just cuts, uh, that just cuts into the corners as well on there. Perfect. And just, it's only a short one this. You probably could actually bag this out with some scissors but it's a lot easier with one of these. And again, just get into the corners. Like so. Finish with that now. And again, we're just going to press this down. Just press this little part. There we go, that's really nice. Now as you can see, this here is wider than the stitching, which is perfect, it's what you want, because this, this stitching needs to disappear behind this part. Okay, now what we're going to do now is just work on the strap. We're just going to work on the strap. So the first thing, what we're going to do, is just just turn this over once and press that. Press that down. There we go, like that. And then we've got we've got a start, you see, that we've got there. That that's a start. Okay. Um, now what you need to do first of all is grab the slider part, and we're just going to slide this. Just a, a secure it into the middle. I'm just going to secure this through the middle part only. So we're going up through there and then back. Like so. So as you can see, we've, we've only just secured the middle part. And because I've started that part there and I've bent that back, just simply roll that back on there and attach it down okay so you basically what you're doing is just a row of stitching to secure this from here across to there okay so what I've done is just secured this slider part into there by stitching that in now the next part is we need to grab this hook part and get that attached into here as well now the hook part needs to be facing outwards okay so from the other side so you can work that out basically it needs to be facing outwards like so so you can work it out which part goes where so we're just putting this part of the strap through there like so okay now you can clearly see that the hook is now going to be on the outside and we're now just going to thread this through the slider part so we're going through the outside okay as you can see that's now being caught so you can see it on the outside and then we're going back through the last part and the last gap here like so okay so you can clearly see that that there is going to slide uh, and and make it bigger or smaller and the adjustment um, for the size of the neck okay so that's that part easily done and this next part all we're doing is we're just attaching that into that like so bend that back and all you need to do is just stitch this down. You can just press it down actually. There we go. 
stitch that down here to secure. Right, so I've secured that last part in for the actual bow tie strap. So we've got here the whole strap where it attaches like so and you can adjust it with the slider. Now the next part is we're going to be attaching all of these three parts together by using a bit of hand stitching so you need your needle and thread and the thread needs to be the same colour as the bow tie itself. So the first part is grab your bow part and we're just basically just just pushing the whole thing together like so. That's all you're doing and we just need to secure that so that it stays like that. Now straight away when I do that straight away you can just about see that the bow tie it, it's forming you know it's near enough there. So just get your needle just get your thread and just need the needle as well. Just gonna thread this through. Like so. Again, just do that concertina thing. Like so. And just attach all you need to do is just secure this with your needle and thread in the middle of the bow tie. Just secure this down. Like so just need to just do this a few times and what it does in effect is just hold this in place and you can just just basically just do this with the thread as well that secures it and then back through just to knot this in place Excellent. Right, when you've done that, we need to be attaching this, the bow tie strap, and you need to attach that onto here. Okay, so make sure what I would do is do it in the middle. If I show you this, do it in the middle from the edge here to where your adjuster is. So you need to get that in about the middle here. So just turn that over, and then you can see where the middle is there like so and just attach that on there so just attach attach this strap onto the bow itself okay just attach that few little tacks either side through to the other side as well. There we go. And essentially, this this last part, it's just it's all done by hand, you know, because it's it's uh, you can't really do this on the sewing machine. So you just you just do you just attach this by hand. A few little tacks, like so. Perfect. Now this last part is sort of the band okay so it's basically the small bow strap okay now you need to get that where it fits where it goes over the top of this thread okay so the thread disappears within there okay so just turn that round like so make sure that the raw part is inside Okay, now if you have a few threads, and I've got a few little, few little threads, just just trim them off. Okay, you don't want any threads sort of sticking out or anything like that, and just secure this back. And turn that through 
all we're doing is just securing the whole thing with this band. You know, it's acting, it's acting like a band. Um, and what you need to do is just secure that again with your hand stitching. Secure the whole thing. Oh, it's come out. Just re, just re-thread that. There we go. Okay, it doesn't doesn't need much. It's just attach this together, and just keep stitching this right along until you've secured the whole thing. Now this this part which I'm actually hand stitching now in it needs to be on the inside of your ball okay so you can actually just press that down a little bit making sure oh, it's come out again just make sure that uh, it's in the middle of the the ball because you don't you don't want that showing the reason why my thread keeps coming out is because it's actually a little short okay so just just be careful with that uh, just keep stitching this but yeah, well, as I was saying, this and this needs to be on the inside of your bow tie. Okay, so just keep attaching that down, making sure as well that you do catch this strap in as well. Okay, the whole thing should just catch in through itself. Just keep stitching until we, when you've done that, knot it off. Just cut the thread like so, and there we are.